Amen. I did that on purpose. <laughs> Pardon my shit. They say men with big muscles and big trucks have little peckers. Me? I drive a smart car and I am comfortably chunky. I get a girl home, we start getting intimate. I whip it out and BAM! I got a little pecker too, reverse psychology. But now that you're here, let's get it on. So, uh, yeah, I've always wanted the fairy tale version of love. I grew up a real romantic, you know? I wanted that love and, and I was blind to anything else, you know? I was in such denial that my ex-girlfriend was fucking another man until I got home and climbed on top of her and shoved it right into the other guy's butthole. I'm like, who are you? He goes, get off me, man. She goes, Damon, it's not what you think. And I went, I'm coming. <sighs> Needless to say, a year later, I dumped her ass. You're not going to make a cuckold out of me. So then I left town. I left town and I went on search for my other love, which is uh, songwriting. Uh, I did some uh, songwriting out in Los Angeles and I did some songs that y'all heard of. One of the ones that I wrote that actually did really well was uh, me and Alanis Morissette wrote Ironic together. She did some really good things with it. Uh, one of the things that she did though, she went on to change one of the lyrics that we wrote together and I wanted to share with you our original version right now. He waited his whole damn life to take that flight. And as the plane crashed down, hit the hall. Ah! <laughs> and isn't it ironic? <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> she said it was a little bit too death metal for her. <laughs> so then I, uh, somebody shut the wings and heard it. So, uh, <laughs> so then I got a dog, and talk about unconditional love, you know, he would die for me and I would die for him. My dog's getting old though. He's getting real finicky and it's breaking my heart. Now he will only eat peanut butter off my pecker. Okay, come on, I know what you guys are thinking, I know what you're thinking. And no, he won't eat it off my butthole, I've tried. <laughs> I'm kidding. He loves it off my butthole. It's his favorite treat. We call it hiney holes. So, you guys seem like a real cool crowd, and I don't normally do this, but do you guys like magic? Yeah. Do you guys like magic? Yeah. One more time. Do you guys like magic? Yeah. Right. I do too. I love that shit. I don't know any, but now we have that in common. It's time to build that rapport. So do you guys think Clark Kent gets real nervous when he's at work and somebody comes out of the bathroom and goes, Oh man, somebody just took a super shit in there. He's like, Oh, it wasn't me. I just took a mild-mannered one. <laughs> so uh, panhandlers are getting out of control. Uh, went and ate dinner tonight and I was leaving the restaurant and this guy comes up to me and he reeks. He's covered in dirt. He's got no teeth. He smells like the back of a liquor store dumpster. His food, his clothes look like they're made of food. He's like, man, give me a little bit of money. Give me some money, man, please, man. I will suck your dick. I'll suck your dick for some money, man. And I was like, here, you just get away. And I know what you guys are thinking. I know what y'all are thinking. He's just gonna go out and spend it on alcohol, spend it on crack. But don't worry, I outsmarted him. I stole it back from him during the blowjob. <laughs> Ain't gonna, get, ain't gonna make a fool out of me. So a uh, weird thing happened to me this morning. I'm out in my yard uh, doing some yard work and my neighbor comes up to me and she is completely blind. She's got her C and I dog, she's out walking and I'm real awkward around her. I'm real awkward around anybody with a disability. It's, it's a sad thing to admit, but I am. And she comes up to me and I'm like, hey, Miss McAllister, how are you doing today? And she's like, oh, I'm doing great. Just out walking Bobo. And I'm like, oh, well, good. Well, it's a beautiful day for that. You have a good one. And I expect her to leave, but she's just standing there. And it's really awkward. And I don't know what to say. And, and I'm just thinking, you know, how long is it going to take this dog to finish this damn peanut butter? I got shit to do. <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah, I got one more announcement. We just found out that my, uh, my wife is pregnant with a second child. <laughs> found that out. Thank you guys so much. We had sex and, you know. I just hope that it's not my dad's this time, because this is when I can find a reason. It's very awkward. All right, you guys, I'm going to back to Jamie. Y'all have a wonderful evening. All right, what's that step? Jimmy Powers, all right. Yeah, what are you going for? 